So I decided to do this video because I said I was going to do um, some of these problems and post them and I forgot to do them this weekend and I've been getting some questions from you guys. So I wanted to go ahead and, and do a video with a couple of examples of how to solve um, these inequalities and then of course to write your answer in set builder and interval notation. Now I am working on my laptop which means I'm not, I don't have the feature of the pen and so um, a lot of this is going to be typed so hopefully that's okay. So remember, when you are solving an inequality, you basically are treating it like a um, like an equation, okay? Like just like a standard equation. So don't worry about the inequality sign just yet, but just kind of deal with it how you would any other um, equation. So when there's negative five or any number on the outside of the parentheses, usually your first idea is to distribute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute that negative five to that three b to get negative fifteen b plus or minus thirty five because negative times a positive is a is a negative. And then it's going to be less than or equal to 85. Okay? And so from here, all we have to do is pretty much solve for 4B. For so to do that, we're going to add 35 to both sides. So it's going to be negative 15B is less than or equal to, uh, when I add that, that's going to give me 120. So it's going to be negative 15B is less than or equal to 120. And so then, of course, we're going to divide both sides by negative 15. And remember, when you divide both sides by a negative and you're dealing with inequality, the sign is going to switch. So now this becomes uh, greater than or less than. And so then we'll have B. Let's close it up here. B is going to be greater than or equal to 120 divided by negative 15, which is negative 8. Okay? And so now that we've solved the inequality, we need to write our answer in set builder notation. Well, remember, set builder notation is the curly brackets. I'm going to do my best curly brackets without my pen. The variable, which is b, such that b is greater than negative 8. And what types of numbers are greater than negative 8? Well, these are the numbers that are real numbers. So it's going to be b is the element of all real numbers. And that's all you're doing, okay? All you're doing is just solving for the inequality and then writing your answer in set builder notation. And we also have to do interval notation. Well, if we're talking about all the values that are greater than or equal to negative 8 on a number line, that basically looks like this. You have negative 8, you have a closed circle, and it's everything that is to the, um, the right of negative 8. So the furthest left this goes is negative 8, and it is included, so it's going to be a square bracket. And that goes all the way to the right without any end, so then that's infinity. And remember, there's always parentheses around infinity. And so, there you go. You have that there. Okay? Let's look at, this one's another similar one. Remember, when it's just greater than or it's just less than, it's an open circle, which means there's a parenthesis involved when you're writing in an interval notation. But let's look at this one. This is known as a compound inequality. Okay, which means that basically whatever you do to one side of the inequality, you have to do to both sides. So to start off with this one, you want to make sure that you add 5 to all sides. Not just to the negative 41, but also to the, um, also to the 27. Because it's almost like you're covering up this negative 41 and working with the right side, or you're covering up this 27 and just working with the left side, okay? But you can do it all in one. And you'll basically have negative 36 is less than 4V which is less than or equal to 32. And just like before, when you're solving, you want to go ahead and whatever you do to one side, you got to do to, to the other side as well. So I'm going to divide everything by 4. So that's going to give me negative 9 is less than V, which is less than or equal to 8. And when you are solving inequality, it's actually very easy to write in a set builder notation because all you have to do is add in your the set of V values such that the condition... And then, of course, you have to say what types of values V can be. And V can be the element of all real numbers. Again, I'm using my, my keyboard to basically write this out, so I'm sorry if it looks kind of crazy. How do you write this in interval notation? Well, remember, that's like looking at your number line and saying, okay, this is negative 9, and then this is 8. 9 is not included, so then it's an open circle, whereas 8 is included, and it's everything that's in between. So how do you write that in interval notation? Well, that's going to be negative 9 
with the parenthesis because it's not included, all the way to eight with the square bracket because it is included. And that's how you solve these two different types of inequalities that you're, that you're going to be working with in your homework and writing them both in set notation as well as interval. Please bring your questions to class um, and I'll see you guys then.